I just got something that really surprised me. This coin is about quarter size. I think it says half dollar there. What's up guys? I am out here doing a little bit of detecting today. Haven't been out in about two months. Last time I was out was probably with Kevin. Uh, but I'm back at college now, so I'll be here for about another eight months. We got a little bit of a uh, detecting season here though. It's good to get back into the urban environment, find a few uh, newer coins, but you get a whole lot more of them. Uh, so hopefully we can get out there and find some cool stuff today. Uh, definitely looking to be out for about probably two hours and uh, hopefully we get a nice little haul of coins, hopefully some silver as well. All right, let's get into it. All right guys, uh, just got down here on a signal that I thought sounded like it could have been like a silver dollar or something. It was so high, I was like, there's no way this isn't gonna be trash. Come up here in the plug. And you know, I had this thought in the back of my mind that it might be this. But that's my first Kennedy half dollar right there. That's so cool. 1973, I think. It's a clad one, it's not uh, not silver, but kind of close to silver actually. It's weird, this uh, exact location is where I found my first uh, dollar coin. It was a Susan B. Anthony, so. Interesting uh, coinage going on back in these days. I guess people were dropping them and, man, I don't even know how you lose something that big, but I'll take it for sure. That's my first one. Kennedy, half dollar, 1973. All right, let's keep digging, see what we can get. So this is turning out to be a really great day for coins. I just got something that has really surprised me. This is how I saw it come out of the hole. And uh, as you can see there, that's a young head, Queen Elizabeth. But the thing is, this coin is about quarter size, so I was thinking, wait a minute, if this is Canadian and it's got a young Queen Elizabeth on the back, it would have to be silver, but this is obviously clad. So I flip it over to the other side, and it turns out it's some kind of foreign coin from 1956, South Africa, Sudan, I think. Or does it say, it says South Africa for sure. And then it's, I think it says half dollar there, Check, take a look at that. It's like a little bit bigger than a quarter, I'd say. It looks like it's got a maybe a hole there by the date, but this is just an amazing coin to come out of here. I have no idea what this is doing here. And also, it's weird to see the queen on the back like that. I'll uh, clean it up a little bit so you can see that better. There you go. Young Queen Elizabeth there. I found a penny with her on the back earlier that was a uh, Canadian. So this is crazy, guys. Take a look at that. Half dollar, South Africa. All right, I'm gonna keep going and uh, hopefully find some more of these cool coins. You know, I'm having a lot of fun out here detecting on my own. I do kind of miss Kevin though. I wonder what he's up to. Guys, I'm pretty speechless right now. I was detecting at the at the uh, the dig site for about three or four hours, and I got really bored. I hadn't really found anything, and I was detecting and swinging and I get a nice solid zinc signal. And I dig it and I see this pop up. So I'm thinking, you know what? All right, I know this trail is pretty old. It might be 50s, uh, this would make sense. I flip it over, guys. It's a 1916. This is definitely in the era of the camp. Guys, that is amazing. All right, that was a pretty cool find, but I'm not sure if it beats my Kennedy half dollar and a South African half dollar in the same day. Comment down below what you think. Who wins? 1916 wheat or two different types of half dollars in a single day? Let's see what you think. You know you're back at the apartment complex when you find yourself an old toy matchbox car. I remember finding a whole bunch of these last year and I'm still finding them now. Looks like this one used to be green. Kinda interesting little thing on the back there, like a little fin. Uh, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to get a date on these. I think they're 60s or 70s. I don't know I got a lot of viewers that would probably remember uh, Playing with these in their childhood. So pretty cool to find. I always keep them. All right, let's keep going All right, this has got to be one of the most bizarre things that I've ever found. Take a look at this Now I don't know What it is, but it looks like some kind of a symbol that uh, Could be Chinese Japanese. I'm not really sure and in case uh, you needed a reminder, we are digging in America. You probably wouldn't know by all the weird things that are coming out of the ground today, but interesting uh, little thing right there. This actually looks like a heart, but then I can't really figure out what the rest of that would be. All right, it definitely looks like we're on the coins today. I was actually just on my way back, slowly making my way back and got down in the hole about four inches here and pulled a 
41 weedy so that's pretty cool right there that one looks like it's gonna come out nice too oldest coin of the day so far we got a 56 African coin uh, 57 Canadian now 41 weedy oh I also got a 44 weedy earlier but I didn't film that because they're pretty common to find but that's pretty cool got some nice toning on it as well let's keep going see if we can get any more so as per usual on the Quinn's coins YouTube channel we hunt until we see blood Got a big blister right there that's what you get for not detecting for two months straight you have to sort of work your hands back into the calluses that you get when you're metal detecting uh, it's actually a lot of hard work that people don't really realize like if you're out of shape like I am or if you haven't done it in a long time you actually get pretty tired out there so but my hands are getting back into shape got the calluses uh, going see a little uh, thumbs up there uh, you know what let's go ahead and get right into these uh, finds we just got a whole bunch of cool stuff let's see what we got all right so here's the good stuff all laid out we'll start up here I really don't know what this thing was but I thought it was cool uh, we got a Clorox America's favorite bleach cap right there this piece I'm not sure what it is but it is heavy so I kept it uh, we saw that little symbol thing I found a nickel that was all bent up I thought that was pretty cool and it happens to be one of the uh, 2004 varieties with the ship on it so that's cool uh, I got another nickel a dollar and quarters three dimes I think nine copper pennies most of these are from the 70s a couple are from the 60s though and then on to this, the uh, cooler finds. We actually got some really cool stuff tonight. I'm just going to go ahead and quickly give you a little bit of a better look at some of the nicer coins that we pulled out today. There's our 57 Canadian penny there. There's a 41 wheat. And I have cleaned all of these up. Used toothpicks and the back of my hand to clean those. They actually came out pretty nice. 44. There's our half dollar right there. 73 Denver. Backside. And then here is that South African coin, and actually you can see that it's got a hole in it. it. looks like someone was wearing this as a necklace at some point. It says South Africa, and I believe that's just South Africa in a different language. That ship is really cool. I like that a lot. Uh, and then the queen is on the back side, just like normal. You can actually probably take it and compare it to the mini version of the queen. So there she is in two different versions in two different countries. But you see the queen pop up on all kinds of coins from foreign countries. So... Um, not uncommon to see the queen on a, on a piece of coinage. So guys, after all that digging, I am absolutely starving. So I'm going to go ahead and throw some burgers on, do a little celebration dinner, and uh, I'll show you what that's all about. Show you how we eat here in college. That's how we celebrate a good day of metal detecting right there. Got beef on. We got bagels coming out here. Going to make myself a nice uh, cheeseburger. Minus the cheese, because we don't have any of that. Got mustard though, so we're getting by. Look at that monster burger. Look at how tiny it makes these bagels look. All right, we got her all mustarded up. Throw on the top here and cut in. Juicy. All right. Oh yeah, that looks good. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that was probably the best burger that I've ever prepared and eaten. That tasted so good, especially after today. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate you watching my metal detecting videos. I have a ton of fun doing them. I actually go as far to say I might even have more fun than the corn roll hunting because I just love being outdoors and I love getting the uh, exercise and activity in. So uh, I really love doing the metal detecting videos and I'm gonna keep doing them as long as you guys keep watching them. So thank you so much for watching. As always guys, I'm Quinn and this is Quinn's Coin signing out and I will see you in the next one.